Hello everyone, this is Iamin and welcome to Laravel Library Management System Project Tutor for Beginner. So in this tutorial, in the admin dashboard, in the home page, we are going to show the total number of user, total number of book, total number of written book and total number of broad book over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll just, uh, let me just close those and we'll just directly go to our admin controller. So we'll go to app http controller and admin controller and right now here you can see auth id if the user type is admin from here we are sending the from here we are sending the admin to this view which is admin.index and whatever we are seeing over here is coming from admin.index which is basically uh this one if we just go to the views and inside views we have the admin folder and inside admin we have index top plate.php so right now uh what we are going to do is that okay let's just go to the admin.index so we'll go to our admin and then index.blade.php and here you can see that we're including admin.body over here and admin.body means basically this part so let's go to our admin.body section so we'll go to body.blade.php and here first of all we need to show the total user so we are going to see over here total users and the number will show from the database table how many user we have and after total user will show over here total books and after it will show the uh borrowed book first let's show over here borrowed books and then the last one will be returned books so we'll see over here returned books so right now let's save it and if we now refresh over here here you can see total user total books borrowed books and written books is written over here so we're going to get those number from the database tv how many total user we have how many total books we have how many book is borrowed and how many book is returned so let's go back and let's go to our admin controller so from here we are returning the view so what we do first is that we're going to declare a variable. Let's say what here dollar user equal to we'll get the total number of user in the user table. So uh, let me just show you if we just go to the users table, there you can see we have total three user over here. So right now what we are going to do is that we are going to mention the user model over here. Then we say over here all after it we need to give this arrow sign and we need to say over here count so what this count function will do is that it will count the total number of user we have in the user table and then it will store that number in this user variable so here we are going to give a command then we need to say over here compact to first bracket to single quotation then we are going to say over here user so let's go to our uh, body.blade.php and here uh, you can see total user and this is the number. So instead of this, we are going to give to second bracket. Then we are going to show our here dollar user. So the, the number we have over here will shown over here. So right now, if we just save, then if we now refresh over here, it should show over here three there you go so right now let's show the total number of book over here so let's go back let's go to our admin controller and here we are going to set dollar book called to we are going to mention the book model name double clone all to first where I get this arrow sign count after it we are going to send this book variable over here so we are going to show here book let's go to our uh, body.blade.php then let me just go down and here you can see total book so here we are going to say to second bracket then we we'll say here dollar book save then refresh and there you can see total number of book is four over here so let's show the borrowed book over here and then return book so from which table we are going to show those data we are going to show those data from the borrow table so right now if we just go to the borrow table and here you can see the status is return and approved so if the status is approved it means on book was borrowed 
so it will show over here on and if the status is returned it means on book is written over here so right now let's go back to our code we'll go to our admin controller and after this let's say over here dollar borrow equal to we are going to mention the borrow table name so i mean the model name we saw over here borrow to double clone and here we need to give a power condition where to single quotation and here you can see uh, in the database here you can see status so we are going to show over here status comma to single quotation is approved if the status is approved then get those data and count the total number so we are going to show over here count like this so what we are doing is that we are counting the total number of approved status in the borrow table so it will count the total number of approved status and store that number in this borrow variable so here we are going to give a comma single quotation and we are going to show here borrow which is this one so right now let's save it and let's go to our body.plate.php let me go down here you can see borrow books and here we are going to give to second bracket and here we are going to set dollar borrow save then let me just refresh over here and there you can see it is showing on so we need to do the same thing for the return book so over here you can see status is written over here so uh, right now what we'll do is that let me just copy this control c and we'll paste it over here and instead of borrow we are going to show over here return and here status instead of approve we are going to show over here return and we also need to send this variable so we'll copy this then i'm going to paste it in the compact save let's go to our body.plate.php then let me go down and here to stop this we're going to give two second bracket and we're going to show our here dollar returned save then let's just refresh over here and there you can see there is on return book so right now let's go and uh, change let's say for the status let me just click over here and change the status to return here you can see there is two status which has value return so right now if we refresh it should show us two over here so right now if we refresh there you can see it is showing us two book is return so we just show some data over here from the database table in the admin panel so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching in the next tutorial we'll uh, talk about middleware so make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials